Hello everyone, I am Dave the Prayer Guy. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. If this video is an encouragement, if you have learned something from it, I encourage you to kind of check out my other videos as I talk about missional prayer, how to fuel God's mission with prayer. That is my vision. That is my ministry. I teach about that. I pray about that. And I pray with others Praying missionally, using God's mission as our lens, as our focus in our prayers. And so this time I want to talk about how a few years ago I started a prayer-based ministry at my church. And it all started with an email to my pastor, and we met in his office. And that initial meeting, we didn't really see eye to eye on how a prayer-based ministry would work at our church, but he did kind of encourage me and say, hey, go for starting a Sunday morning prayer meeting. And so we, so I started every Sunday. We met in a designated room um, that I called the prayer room. Um, that hasn't really taken root in my church, but hey, I still think of it as the prayer room. And it was all about the focus was to pray for God's mission. So at first, we kind of came, we shared prayer requests, but later on, I actually started gathering prayer requests um, about different ministries in the church, our youth ministry, our kids ministry, our small group ministries. Uh, you know, sometimes we would pray for our deacons, pray for the pastor at these meetings, and we will come, and for about a half an hour, we will talk about the different prayer requests, and then we would pray. And then after we were done praying, it gave us time to kind of greet the folks that are coming to church, you know, to see our friends that didn't come to the meeting and also maybe even greet a visitor or two. And it has been a great time, a prayer and really focusing our prayer on God's mission, because really that's that's what God's mission needs. It needs prayer. I mean, it is the fuel. It is what moves us forward. Um, because we have a role in it and God has a role in it. And one of our roles is to pray for it and also to go out and engage in it. And then God has a role too. I mean, Revelation it says the spirit and the bride says come. And we need prayer to feel both sides of that. And so it's been really been good for me. I've gotten out of my comfort zone and invited people to come and really encourage them to be there uh, and and it has taken a few years, but I really believe that the group knows its focus and knows um, why we meet. I mean, we even call it fuel time because we're all about fueling the mission, the ministry of our church to the greater Old Town, Maine area. Because that's, that's where we are. That's what we are doing. We, at this meeting, we are praying for um, God's mission. And I share this in hopes that there's somebody out there who would watch this that needs the encouragement to kind of start a prayer group that is about God's mission. That, that, that's why you're, you're getting together to pray specifically for that. Now, that doesn't mean you won't pray for, for healing and stuff like that. But when you are praying for healing, you you are also praying for God to use the injury, the sickness, whatever it is for the advancement of his kingdom, that that he will use whatever for the good of those who believe in him. Um, something else from the Bible. Um, so I hope that this is an encouragement. If you're thinking about starting a prayer group to pray for God's mission, you know, number one step, the first step you got to do, you got to pray. Pray for God's wisdom, how to proceed, and then follow that guidance. So God might prompt you to have it be official, kind of official part ministry of your church. And if that's the case, you really need to get your pastor on board because it's not going to go very far if the pastor is not involved. But it's okay if it's something more unofficial. You know, you just have two or three people um, that you know kind of come to your house on any given day of the week and you pray for God's mission. And it could be, you know, like my group, my group, we are praying for different ministries in the church, you know, on any given Sunday, your could be more something specific. Maybe there's a nation that's on your heart and mind that you want to pray for. Maybe it's, 
I don't know, maybe it's praying for the schools in your town, for God's revival to happen there. Uh, it really doesn't matter. What matters is that you're following God's guidance, God's leading in all of this, and it really takes a lot of prayer. Now, it might sound kind of counterintuitive to be praying for a prayer group, um, but it will go so much better if you're actually engaging in God about it, finding out what he wants, how, what he wants you to lead and going forward with it. And it could be, you know, like I said earlier, it could be like my group. We pray for a different ministry every week, or you could be praying specifically for, like for the youth group, the kids, Sunday school, uh, whatever. Just go with how God is leading you. However he's leading you, go with it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as you're following God's leading. All right. So thank you so much for watching this. You know, hey, if after listening to me, you have another suggestion, um, you know, one thing I forgot to mention is that you want to pray about who you're going to invite because you want the people there that God wants there. But if you have another suggestion, so you know, write in the comments. I will love to read it. All right. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, may the Lord be with you.